guys, Bobby here from Slip Text, and today I'm gonna to show you how to set up a basic text message survey. Ready? Let's check it out. Our text message survey feature allows you to collect information prior to your subscribers opting in or just to collect data for a survey. This is a great way to capture additional information on your subscribers so that you can target them based on segments of that information or personalize your text messages. Let's get in the dashboard and check it out. So inside the dashboard, we're gonna go to the marketing tools tab. We're gonna scroll down to the text survey feature and click manage surveys. And on here, we're gonna create a new survey and we're gonna go step by step to customize the experience. All right, so the first step here is to kind of give some, some information about your survey. So we're gonna pop in some values. We'll call it basic data collection survey. Then we'll give it a description. Remember, this is just for your reference. We're gonna pick the text word that we want to use for people to either be added to as a subscriber when they're done or to use to text in to kick off the survey. And it's gonna ask you, do you want texting the text word to kick off the survey? That means that when they text your keyword to the number, it's gonna start by replying with the first message. Now you can shut that off so that you can deliver the text message survey question, the first one in a scheduled message, a recurring message, or even through a web form. Now how many times do you want somebody to take the survey? Eh, just once. Okay, and should, it not, should the questions or the answers be anonymous? No, although something to point out, if you're doing a research study and you want these answers to be anonymous, you can make them so you don't know uh, what information goes to what person. So we'll say no, we want the information to be associated with the number, and then we're gonna turn this to the on status. Okay, that means that uh, when they text your keyword, it'll kick off. Now let's talk about the questions here. Okay, now remember this is a basic survey. So we're gonna go ahead and create our first question. And our first question is gonna be open-ended. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to ask for their full name. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just paste in a quick little response. Okay, hit update. And then we're gonna go to the next question here. And you'll notice that I'm using a merge tag, a first name merge tag to personalize the experience. Okay, so now that we got the first name on file in this one, uh, we can go ahead and insert it here and say, thanks Bobby, now reply with your email. And the third one here, we're gonna do the same thing. It's gonna, oh sorry, it's gonna be a numeric question I had for this one. So we're gonna select numeric. And on this one here, it's gonna be replying one through 10. Okay, maybe we wanna rate the service. All right, and the last one here, we're gonna do a multiple choice. So you can go ahead and type in your message here. All right, last question, what's your favorite appetizer? Reply, you know, A, B, C, all that stuff. Okay, and it'll insert the, the answers down here with the selections. And I always like to reiterate it here in the content. Okay, so that'll be the last one and we'll hit update. And the last section here, section three is gonna show you what happens at the end. Okay, so when they complete the last question, what is going to happen here is we're gonna send them a completion text message. That's it, that's the end of your survey. Let's check it out in action now. We'll hit save. And we're gonna text our text word to the number to kick off the survey. The first thing I get back is reply with your full name. So let's go ahead and reply with our full name. Hit send. And then it's gonna ask for our email address, right? And we're just going through the flow of collecting this information from the participant. And the next question, rate it one through 10, we'll say a seven, all right? And then finally, we're gonna get back the last question. All right, reply A, B, C, or D. And it doesn't matter if it's capitalized or lowercase, just hit send. All right, we're recognizing the character. And that's it, that's the completion of the survey. Now let's take a look at all the analytics that you get with that survey and introduce you to part two of this. So back inside our account, let's go back over to the marketing tools tab and let's go down to manage text surveys. And uh, on the right side here of our survey, let's go ahead and look at these options, okay? You can view and edit a survey here, clone a survey, send the first message to your subscribers. If you guys remember, uh, we gave you the option, do you want texting the text word to the number to kick off your survey? Yes or no. Maybe we want them to opt in first and then ask them the first survey question later. So send to subscribers, that'll tee up a text message. You can send or schedule the first message to them. View analytics, we'll check that out in just a moment. Download responses, delete responses, and delete survey. Obviously you know what that is. Let's talk about deleting the responses though. When you delete the responses, it's like they've never taken the survey. That's going to allow them to take it over again and provide new information. When you download the responses, it's a simple .csv spreadsheet that you guys can open up in Microsoft Excel, and you can see all the information separated into separate columns, all right? And then you can evaluate the responses and take action based on that information. So last thing we wanna check out here is viewing the analytics. Let's check that out. On the analytics page, we can see some really basic information of a date range, 
Um, we can also see how many people have completed. You can really get a, a good high level view of your analytics of the survey from this page. But also we give you the option to download the report and all responses as well from this page. All right, downloading the report creates kind of like this really cool infographic that you can take to presentations and it's just a really uh, great value add, I think. Right, so if you look at this here, we downloaded our analytics report, and now you can take this uh, unbranded to your meetings and kind of give your folks at the company a rundown of all the responses. So there is gonna be a part two to this video. If you wanna learn how to capture this information, store it on file, personalize the survey experience and your future text messages while creating targeted segments based off this information you've collected, check out the next video. All right, guys, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us, 1-800-688-6290, or email us, info at slicktext.com. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next video.